Hey guys, it's Ken Faulkner and I'm here for another video. This one's going to be an unboxing right here. That's the box. This knife is here because uh, if you've seen my my video where uh, I talked about this one and uh, how special it is to me and the reason why is because uh, I actually put this together myself. I didn't make the steel, didn't make the, the, the blade uh, itself, but I did uh, make these handles. Um, it came as a kit from uh, a company called uh, Premium Knife Supply, Knives of Pain. Uh, you can go to their website and talk, uh, you can see a, a bit of what they got there. Um, anyway, I, I made this quite a while ago and it came in this cool box, but uh, I decided that I want to build another knife. And uh, so, I went on Amazon because it, it said on their card that I had that uh, that you can get them on Amazon as well. And so I went on there and I found one. It's really cheap, 44 bucks for uh, this knife here, this knife build kit here. And um, let me show you what it, uh, what it is. All right, so I um, actually got started. I already cut, cut the tape on it, but I didn't do much more than that. So here you go, you got a card here. Pain Brothers. Premium Nice Supply. And so here's some information if you ever want to uh, check them out. Um, Amazon and eBay. And on their website. So this one's more of a scaled down version of what uh, I got last time. Uh, if you saw this box, it's really fancy. I picked that one up at, at the first blade show I went to, and um, it's got a whole bunch of stuff that comes with it. And this one here is got only a few things. So um, all the things that are in this box came in in this nice wood box when I first got it. But I also got like a, a file, sandpaper, uh, band aid ready for uh, cutting yourself, uh, little clamps, all kinds of cool stuff to help you out. Uh, epoxy. Hopefully there's some epoxy in here. If not, I'll have to pick up some of my own. I don't know. I guess that's not too hard to find. But what this kit has, and this kit did have originally, uh, was uh, some bar stock, a round bar stock uh, that you can use for the pins. And this one is a little different because it's got purple heart wood scales. And I've always seen uh, knives with purple heart wood scales and I think they're really cool so uh, we're gonna see what this uh, looks like when I put it together but this is how it starts so this this handle that you see here started as a couple of blocks with this different multicolored uh, handle wood uh, material and the pins so the pins that are here came as just a single piece like uh, like it did on this kit and the star of the show here this is some instructions on how to do the knife. I'll have to read those again because it's a additional materials required five minute epoxy, wood finish, and duct tape. I think I can handle that. But it gives uh, instructions so it helps you to figure out how to do it if you don't have experience like me. This is my only my second time um, building one of these knives. So I haven't seen this blade yet other than what I saw on the, uh, on the website. So I'm anxious to see what this looks like, because man, it looks really cool. Got the troll candy there. Get this out of the way. And so here we go. It's in some nice, nicely wrapped paper. And you can see what this looks like when it starts out, because when I did this video, I, I had already made the knife. So you didn't get to see what it looks like. So this gives you an idea of what's going on with that. And obviously, uh, this is not going to be made right here in front of you because that would be way too long of a video. We're just going uh, unboxing part one of the knife build of this knife here. Uh, if you have heard me talk about blade types and blade shapes, uh, you know that I do like a drop point blade. And boy, look at that Damascus. Isn't that cool? Uh, somebody uh, recently commented on my old video uh, asking about 
uh, what the materials were and where they were um, where they're sourced how they were being uh, fabricated and if you go on their website the 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 uh, Payne Brother Knives, oh no, I'm sorry, the PremiumKnifeSupply.com, uh, you'll see they have a bunch of these, and, they, and it's on a page that says USA Made. Um, I didn't see anything specifically said this was made in USA, but they definitely have some that are specifically USA Made, and maybe they all are. They seem like that kind of company. So um, I just do it for fun, but man, that is a nice looking Damascus design there. That is really cool. Got some raindrop pattern in there. Uh, you can see as it does the grind. You can tell it's a real Damascus because you can see how it, it changes as the grind does change. And the layers, you can look at the back. You can get it catching the light. You got the lines from the different layers. Um, I think like I should have... It's a, it's a lot of layers. I remember seeing it on, on Amazon... Um, I think it's 1095 and 15 and 20 or something like that. Very common uh, materials for a good Damascus blade. But um, I think it was something like eight, to the 80 to 100 layers. And usually you don't get this kind of cool pattern on a knife, on a Damascus knife, unless you have a lot of layers. So this is some pretty good stuff as far as I can tell. And I've never had a problem with the steel from that other blade that I made. So I'm super excited to make this blade. Now you can see how the the shape of the handle is kind of already there. So when you put those those blocks on the wood blocks, they're gonna it's gonna look something like like this. Okay, and there'll be one on each side, and you drill the holes and and epoxy it on, and then after that, that's that's where a lot of time gets spent after that because you uh, you sand down, you use that file for the for getting the majority of the of the material removed and then you start sanding and sanding and sanding and get that shape that you like and you pick it up in your hand and you say oh man that's starting to feel good i think i need to take a little bit off here 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 oh it's got a hot spot there so i'm going to work on that and you get to make your own design of that handle shape so that's very cool so anyway anybody who uh who liked my first video this will uh this video kind of gives you a little better idea of how it all started and um, I'm a procrastinator guys so I may not be popping this thing together in the next week or two it may take me a while to get this all done but I will definitely keep you updated on the progress I'll, I'll probably do a video once I got the the handles on just to show you how that looks and then maybe uh, at least another one before the finished product but anyway there it is, short video today. I want to let you guys know that I'm almost to 250 subs. Uh, I just put out a, uh, a Kaiser uh, video, and uh, I was showing the knife that came in this case, and I wanted to let you know, since that that knife, the uh, Towser K Serape, was the first knife on the first video that I ever made where Freedom Frog Gear said, I challenge you, Ken Faulkner, to make a video and got me started into all this fun that I've been having. Because of that, I'm going to give away one of these. Not this knife. I've already bought a brand new one in that same kind of case, and uh, I'm going to give that one away. Um, I'm hanging right below 250 right now. I keep on kind of like going back and forth. It's not a big, fast climb for me. I don't really... I don't like every video come out and say, hey, subscribe and like and all this other stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I, I subscribe and I like all kinds of channels. Um, but I just, you know, I'm just kind of doing this for fun. I don't mind having a small audience. And I'm probably going to be a little sneaky about my giveaway, so just let you know. Obviously, I'm mentioning it here. But maybe some of the people that aren't really interested in this uh, in my channel that much, maybe they've already stopped watching this video, and maybe some of you out there that are that are watching till the end are going to have a little bit of a uh, pr uh, inside information. So uh, I'm not going to put like G A W giveaway in the in the description of the video. Um, 
So, you know, keep an eye out for videos coming up, um, especially once I hit that 250. Uh, I don't know, it could be today, I don't know, but because I'm right there, about like three subs away. Um, watch after that. Um, I'll be doing a video um, announcing it. I'll give you the kind of the rules. I got to figure it out. I, I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. Uh, but I watched enough videos and I got some people I can talk to that I know have done videos and giveaways before. So I'll figure this out. But I'll probably mention in a video that doesn't say anything about a giveaway and give you the rules towards the end of the video. So that way, hopefully, we get somebody who's a, a regular viewer and somebody who, um, uh, you know, um, actually watches the channel and it's not just there for the giveaway. That would be the best thing for me. So and then I'll let it run, you know, like those ones uh, that it's not a live, obviously. I'm not doing lives yet, but... I'll let it run for a week or two or something like that to let people get a chance to see the video so you don't have to worry about watching my video the day that it comes out. Um, I'm going to give you time. You'll have, uh, you know, at least a week. Um, and then uh, we'll have the giveaway video. I won't, I probably won't, uh, maybe I'll mention it on the giveaway video so that you can kind of see once you've already been entered, um, you can see. And then there'll be a, probably a bunch of people out there complaining about, hey, how come I, I didn't know about that video? I'm sorry, guys, but uh, I'm a little sneaky sometimes, so I'm already warning you. Watch out for Sneaky Ken. Uh, so look out for that video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for all the subscribers and for the comments that I love so much. Um, and you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Well, actually, this one will probably post later on in the week, but... Have a great rest of your day, the rest of your week, and I will see you on the next one.